Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Retro Roulette. You have died of dysentery. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortion. That's terrible. Why would you say such a thing? And Jason Amherst. Please fill out your tombstone. <laughs> he died. And we are here to spread cheer all up in your rear as we spin this wheel. Full of SNES games today. Do we have those um, player's choice ones? or is that Yes. Or... Yes, we do have player's choice spaces on the wheel. Hell oh boy on this one. I mean, I, I don't know for sure if it's going to be any good, but let's let's find out, I guess. King Arthur's World. Yeah. I, why do I feel like oh that boy, was a Saturday morning cartoon? Yeah. How do you have a freaking SNES game in Dolby Surround when that system was only capable of stereo? I don't know, but that's a bloody good question. I don't know either. Wow. Oh well, Argonaut Software. Oh. Those guys. Uh, Wait, is this a is this like a lem is this a Lemmings clone? Oh, Argonaut Software. Those guys uh, pushed some boundaries back in the day, if I'm not mistaken. I think uh, I could have sworn they were the guys who. Uh, Helped uh, make Star Fox, actually. Hmm. I might have to reload. Maybe. Hold on a sec. Okay. Well, you know it's going to be good when one of the choices is Army. Let's uh, <laughs> share the uh, video again. Oh, fuck, Army. Fuck me. Well, I was trying Navy. to. I was trying to keep it so I didn't have to tell people why Jace is saying that. But now that Jace has said that out loud, I did have to pause there for a second to reconnect my controller. <laughs> I was trying not to break the fourth wall, but Jace just did it. So fuck it. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, I let's, mean, let's try to get a fucking. We need to destroy that fourth wall eventually. You know, when uh, you were playing the game and Dan and I are just, you know, going. So anyway, uh, it says the Mabel. It says. So he says the And um long story short, this is the stone I passed. Why do I I'm I'm getting either Lemmings or Lost Vikings vibes from this. I'm 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 not quite sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can directly control King Arthur, but... I, um... Are those bad guys? Are those good guys? I, I don't know. They seem, they seem to be having a party up there. Look at them swinging their rocks. Okay. I... Not quite understanding how I do anything. Oh, I'm. I'm actually not quite sure what to make of this. Oh my god, this is a Lost Vikings clone, isn't it? Um. How do I do anything? I was right. Argonaut Games were British developers known for making Star Fox. Star Fox. They also made Croc Legend of the Gobos and the Star Glider series. See that? Those I don't know. Uh, Croc was a decent 3D platformer. Hmm. Legend of the Gobos. The only Gobo I know is, uh... What? <laughs> I completed the oh. test how, exactly? 
Good work, King Arthur. You walked from one side of the screen to the other. That was it? That's all I had to do? Mm. Apparently, one of their subsidiaries was a studio called Just Add Monsters from 2000 to 2004. That studio would become Ninja Theory. Oh. Okay. Yep. So... Uh... They are uh, they are now owned by Xbox Game Studio. Mm -hmm. um, Known for uh, uh oh, hey guys. Uh, I don't. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, let, oh. me, let me. Would make sense, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It was it was oh, popular at no. the time. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you just lost a almost a good chunk of your force there. Oh, they're they're launching cows. They they're launching. Literally, three out of your five men are dead. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know what I'm doing. Catapult. Launch the zipper. I don't. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do it either. Wilbur. Oh God! All right. This is. Uh... This game sucked, Deadly Ox Flanders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nintendo seal of approval, ladies and gentlemen. One of those looks like dig a ditch. Oh, I think it's the second option there is the battering ram. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, but how do I do it is the problem. I can select it all day, but I can't do anything with it. It's just like my way. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's just doing it. And the other guy just went back in the tent. It's like fuck this. I already saw four of my friends die. Um. Wow, this is a bad. Hey, there you go. Oh, wait a second. So, do you have to. Nope, oh, nope, never mind. I thought maybe you needed somebody to. Oh, maybe you can climb that ladder and kill those dudes up top? Oh, well, I guess so. I did there we it. Go. I did it. Now, next order of business is I gotta get. This other battering ram. All right, uh, give me a few of these guys, and then guys. let's do, oop, no, battering ram, whoops, 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 battering ram, I only need one to survive, that's all I need, there we go, two people working on it should open it faster than one, right? You would think? Yeah. All right. Now go to your deaths under the... Oh, never mind. Hey, they're going to make it oh, back there. to... They're going to make it back to the 10, I guess. Nice. Thanks for your help, boys. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now... Can I go in this house? No, I cannot. All right. I don't know. I don't think so. Damn. Oh. Oh, another battering ram. All right. Oh, for God's oh, sake. Oh, and, and, they're, and they're dropping... Uh... Hot coals out of the uh, thing, too. 
Okay, so... Yeah, I see there that. There we go. What I need, then... Oh, shit. You've got, like, archers. You've got, like, shield people. Yeah, apparently it's... This really is just a glorified Lemmings clone where you have to, like, station people in different spots. And... Oh, I can stop them, though. I can stop the guys. I'm going to lose a few there, but that's all right. I can stop everybody by just stopping Maybe the knight. There's a way. There, there's a way. Maybe you can, like, get rid of that trap there. Possibly. I don't know. But it's looking like... It's looking like Lemmings, if it was... If you could control all the lemmings, you know what I mean. Um. Yep, that's a good place for him to stand. Right in the way of the coals. Yeah. Okay, so all these knights can do is sword. Apparently, I can't do anything else with them. Well, I guess I'm going to send this one back to the tent. <laughs> Bye, ready. I just wanted you to look at this shit. <laughs> I just wanted you... Can we... So you can see I this, like this shit, dude? <laughs> look at the fucking state of it. Can't I... Couldn't I have taken a horse? Maybe? Oh, dear. No, no, no. Uh, the... take... no I was, I was actually horse. trying to go... I was trying to go up the ladder, but that's all right. Um, Sir Reggie is dead. It's okay. Sir Reggie. I have plenty of other Reggies. So, let's see here. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't... Other than to just bring out battering rams, but they're probably going to get, like, hot cold on. Uh, I mean, you, you get the shield, dude. I don't know if he could protect you from them. Um, I, I think the guy with the barrel might be demolitions. Um, you clearly like clearly the white and the black robe guys are like mages. Yeah. And then you've got an archer. You know, like you you've got archers. You can Rada. send them forward. Right. Rada. Lana. Lana. I guess let's try an archer, a couple archers. Oh, I can set their trajectory too, which is nice. I'm going to lose a couple here, I think. I like how two just die instantly underneath and then the third just walks into it. Like he didn't just see two of his friends die. Why did I die from walking? <laughs> Why'd you die from the side it, of the spike it, machine? It, There's no it, spikes it, on that it, side. It, okay, stop. Uh, um, oop, no, that's not what I want. What I want is for you to the other direction, please. Thank you. Ooh. Well, yes. Okay, so they got that dude, which means that I don't think he's going to be dropping hot coals anymore. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Got that guy. And him. Got that yeah. guy. Nice. All right. All okay. Right. Now I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So now I need the battering ram, dude. So I'm going to send these guys back to the tent. All right. I'm kind of getting the hang of the game now. I. I I still, I still don't think it's a great game, but I, I, I think it might be better than I gave it credit for. Slightly it's better. Probably better on you know. It'd be beggar. Oh, I might lose one. Nope, I'm not gonna lose one. Nice. Um, it might be better on Amiga or something you can actually like point and click on. That's the issue with the SNES sometimes is that it it, it gives you these games that are just like point and clicks but you gotta use a fucking d-pad and a button to to do them and it's just not it's not conducive to a point and click style game it's really not 
they they work yeah. better on on something like a C4, uh, a C64, Amiga, any type of computer system. Probably gonna lose a couple here. At least they all three died at the same time that time, instead of one just stupidly walking into the side of the spike trap. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oop, not no. Get out of that. I'm gonna go ahead. Apparently, and set this apparently guy. there was a spiritual successor to this in 2018 called King Arthur's World Mobile. That's interesting. Huh. There we go. Oh. And then once he, right once they here. get, yeah, once they get this door down, I've, I've beaten the level because it I've says, got this. It trip. says in the Wikipedia. The game can be played with a standard controller or, alternatively, with the Super NES maps. Oh, I wonder if that would have made much difference. Had, had I known that, I would have done that. Hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh. <sighs> See, if I had known this... I'm not going to wait for these dudes to get back to the tent. Hopefully I can... Literally almost done with this segment. Can I... Can I... Uh, can I you know, it, 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 it doesn't matter. None of this matters. <laughs> yeah, none of this matters. Whatever. See, yeah, I wish I'd have known you could have played this with the SNES mouse. I would have just done that. Well, I, 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 I didn't know. I did not know. I'm not blaming you, Dane. <laughs> God. I know you're not blaming me. I just want to be dramatic. You're so fucking Basic silly. training. Oh, boy. Oh, no, it's raining. Oh, so, it's raining. So maybe you can, like, set up, uh, maybe you can set up, like, another tent later on. They don't have to walk as far. Maybe. All right, I need to. There we go. Pause. <laughs> All right, thoughts on King Arthur's World, Dane? Um, yeah, this is one of those games where once you start to understand the mechanics of it, it's like okay, it's not good, but it's not terrible like you first thought. Um, I think with a little bit of experimentation and a little bit of um, trial and error, maybe this could be good, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, Jason. Yeah, I probably need like you know a good look at the instruction manual. If there's like some scans of it online somewhere, to uh, kind of make it a little make make like a little bit more sense. But right. uh, I mean, like, didn't seem too too bad. You know, just not uh, not the most console friendly game until uh, we figured out. Oh, hey, this is one of those rare games that actually works with that peripheral. Right, yeah, it's, uh, I, I, and I can't even say that it's really necessarily better or worse with the, uh, with the, uh, the mouse, I'll be honest with you. It's probably a little better with the controller, but it's still, like, it probably would have worked a lot better on the, uh, on the Amiga or the Commodore 64. It's not, like, terrible, it's just lemmings where you can basically control all the lemmings. That's basically what it is. Scores out of 10, Dane. Four. Jason. Eh, four. Yeah, a solid four on me, on, on this one. For me, on this one. Not on me for this one. That'd be weird. Don't four on me. Please don't four on me, Daddy. Wow. Well. Four, <laughs> four, four, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, I need a towel. Uh, in any event, let's spin the wheel. See what we're playing next. Second, second game of the episode. <laughs> oh no, it's the bully. -da -da -da. It's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> Do 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 suck my balls. Race. Ah, excuse me. Hold on a second. Race driving. Hold on a second. Uh, I, I still have it on the mouse input. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna re I'm gonna reload that re reload the game there. 
because it skipped over the title screen before I could even switch over. The pitch, Paul. Yeah. Racist driving. Oh, it's Paul Newman. You, you goddamn Edwards. No. Wow. Well, racist driving. Let's, let's do speedster. Let's uh, do the speed. You know what? Let's yeah. do stunt track. Fuck it. Wait if you see so. Let's do the trunt stack. Let's do the poop smith. Oh, oh, it's oh. no countdown or nothing. You just go. Okay, got it. Okay, we're playing the feud. Here we go. How do I... Can I... How do I do? How do I do? Uh, shoulder buttons, maybe, or shift? No, they are definitely not. They just... Le the Shoulder buttons are left and right. Wow. <laughs> That's a little, uh, little strange. <sighs> God, yeah, this, this, heard of this game. This is running. Not this is good. not good. This are, runs like shit. This game is shit. It is pure what? shit. This was wasn't this also a computer game at one point? This was an arcade game. This this was by Atari. Released by Tangan slash THQ. <laughs> yeah. When you say released, you mean like a fart? <laughs> More or less. Because that's what it plays uh, like. You probably should have gone with the uh, the Sportster Auto. You know, the, the automatic. So that you didn't have to worry about shifting. Hey. You know I don't know how to drive a speed stick. <laughs> Dang, bladded. Do 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 do. This is um. I've seen old people fuck faster than this. I, I love how there are gauges that don't do shit even though you're moving. I don't know. Like, like clearly the engine is running and you are driving and going somewhere, but you are going zero miles per hour nonetheless. I don't know if I understand this game. <laughs> this is two games back to back that we have gone, uh, what? What? Uh, what? Let's go sports. Yeah, just do the sports auto. Dude, this one's easy. It's just got drive, neutral, and reverse. Uh, yeah. Neutral and reverse. Or, or auto do not resuscitate. Uh, that's this game. Is do not resuscitate. I was, I was about to say. I think that's this game. <laughs> How is it? You. This is an automatic. Oh still, Jesus! Oh, okay, oh now, God! Oh my God! <laughs> whoa! whoa. <laughs> now you're suddenly. Driving. Suddenly, I hit a button, and suddenly I'm going more than half the speed of smell. I would say apparently the A button is what drives. I never knew that. I, oh, oh Jesus! Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> this game is this game doesn't know if it wants to be slower than my ass or faster or, than my balls. I don't know what that means. Or both. Oh, you mean like that uh, that weird song that Billy posted in uh, the Discord? Mhm. Mm See, I thought up was drive and that's why it was I was moving but it wasn't registering a speed. Now it's registering a speed.
I, I, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Seriously, I can't oh. believe that there's a song about gluing your balls to your asshole. What? We were talking the thing about that? that Billy posted. Oh. Why is he posting you know, shit in our chat and not on the call with us? He was, and he, he was on. Did it like days ago. Oh. He was on Twitch earlier, so there's no excuse. Okay, suddenly I qualified for the scores. Winrar. Lead foot, no fifty five. <laughs> At son of a bitch. Misspelled. Fun the son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my lord. There we go. God damn it. I want you to go over before I hit. Why is it taking 17 years just to type something? Oh no. Because this game is just that bad. <laughs> there. Ah, damn it. Register the press. Thank you. All right, let's try the stunt track. <laughs> See if we can just die in this game. <laughs> Welcome to die. Nobody moved their blob. Oh That's my fun. God! I was I'm air. Oh Jesus! Instant uh, replay. You are dead. <laughs> Well, that took an exceedingly a short amount of time to discover how fast I could fucking die. Oh, I'm still going. I'm still going. There's a cow. A very polygonal cow. <laughs> Hello, cow. Oh, my God. No, oh, it happened again. <laughs> Why is it fucking playing like Vangelis like music? <laughs> dun, 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 oh, also, dun. why did it sound like a fart when? Because <laughs> Billy's driving. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, it's like that scene of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, only bad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Who? Who would have bought this game and fucking played it? This is horseshit. I think Billy Carter. Oh was. my god! I think he did. Right, Billy. Woo. Or just mean? don't answer. That's fine. Yeah, just don't say anything. So this was an arcade game dropped originally in 1990. I think it was dropped on its head. This, <laughs> this yeah, maybe. To 1989's Hard Driving. I'm going to go off the side this time. Uh, Approximately no. 1,200 units were produced oh. at the time of its release for roughly $9,000 each. Hello. Okay. There, there, there's Billy. I gotta get a new cord for my microphone because this one is starting to. I don't know what's with it. Ugh. Ugh. Huh. Hey, and Argonaut Software made the Game Boy version. If you think that this is bad, ooh, I never liked hard oh, driving. I never liked it. You prefer hard fart? We we we, we played yeah. another Argonaut Software game just a few seconds ago. <laughs> really? Yep. Race driving. Is that kind of like car vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess you see. could say that, um, yeah. Composer was Mark Van Heck. 
It's like home domicile. Yeah, this is the, the so this is the soundtrack from Heck, is what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. Wait, um, isn't it called Heck? Censor. <laughs> I'm gonna give it one more, <laughs> one more go, one more go. Uh, Doug one. Milliken, who on also worked Star on Hard Track. Driving, is credited as test driver, but actually worked as a consultant for developing the car model uh, used to lay out the physics of the game's car. Uh, arcade version was exhibited at the UK's Amusement Trade Exhibition International in 1991. Oh, um, you failed. Um, okay. Here we your guest out of 20 in Nintendo Power. What this scored? Uh, eight, out, of four. out of 20, 18. 9.7. Okay. You round down. Yeah. It's uh, 35% in Super Play Magazine. Um, you got a 23 out of 50 on the Genesis from Electronic Gaming Monthly. Ooh. Uh, the Genesis version was handled by Polygames. I actually made it to a checkpoint. Why am I doing so much better on this track? Don't know. I don't either. Oh, I, thought that was the, I thought that was the end of the road for a minute. It didn't spawn in. Polygonal cow. <laughs> Polygonal cow goes oh, more. Oh, please don't crash. Son Holy of, cow! Son of a bitch. You crashed. What do you call a cow that looks like a seat? A couch. <laughs> but yeah. sex. But sex. Uh, <laughs> So the original arcade game was ported to like everything. Ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, it's an Atari game, so it, it it got ported to everything. Yep, Amiga, Amstrad, CPC, Link, Commodore, can you imagine, DOS, can you, Genesis, oh my God. ZX Spectrum. Can oh you imagine what the Spectrum looked like? If you think the Game Boy version's bad, have you seen the Spectrum version? Dear oh Lord. my God, the Specky! Ugh. Ugh. Now, ah, now, son of a bitch. Now, mind you, there are a lot of good games on the Spectrum. A lot of good ZX Spectrum games. This was not yeah, one of but, them. But trying to make a freaking polygonal racing title. Yeah, I know. Imagine the sound effects, because the Spectrum was not known for its sound effects. It's, uh, so... to, quote, to quote Patman QC, it's... Uh, the the sounds of farts and queefs. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Ooh, man, dig those many, Amiga sounds. Many, many moon ago, we did play a bunch of Spectrum games, and that was one of the best nights we ever had. To be quite honest. Hardest drivers. Uh, phrasing? You're a fart. Hardest. Hardest driver. I'm the hardest driver. I had roadhead. <laughs> what makes him the hardest driver? His girlfriend. Did you see her? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Thoughts on race driving, Dan. Psst. Race driving is um Drying my nuts up. <laughs> I bet. No, but really, this game sucks. Uh, Jason. God, this is one of the worst fucking games. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Billy. I've played this before, you know, if you can play it. I mean, but yeah, yeah, this this is not one of Atari's. I know, this is not one of Atari's shining glories right here. Let's just say that. A glory hole, maybe. I don't even say glory hole. At least you get pleasure out of a glory hole. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> it's fair enough. This is, uh, what if battle tanks were shittier? And that's this. <laughs> <laughs> this is like getting. This is like doing sounding with a rusty nail. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I don't think I need to say any more on that. Uh, scores out of 10, Dane. Two. Jason. One. Billy. Rusty Dale, I mean zero. Yeah, I'm going to give it a zero. This is one of the lowest scored games we've ever had on the show. Oh no, we've had we've had a cow. few we've had a few that were zeros across the board. I said one of it. I didn't say the lowest. I said one yeah, of the lowest. That's fair. Uh well, uh time for one more game this episode. There is now a Billy's Choice space on the wheel as well now since he's here. Billy's Choice? Yeah, we each have a, a Player's Choice space on the wheel. If, if it lands on it, we get to pick a game on off the we wheel. We get to pick one game like straight out of the uh, list provided. Uh, we've gone to a game that is just shit to a game with the word shit in the title. Really? Ah, <laughs> Yes! Hopefully the translation worked for it, but we'll, well, I guess we'll find out in due, due course. Whoa! Did you see all the... Fig! It's glitching out like that? Yeah, it's, it's weird. That might be the translation. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's Joe. Yeah, yeah. Ashita no Joe. Glass Joe. That would be a terrible boxing game. <laughs> just lose every match. The, the ultimate dream fight. Glass what? Joe versus Gabby J. Gabby J. I was get, just getting ready to fucking say. Yeah, the, I think the translation is uh, glitching it out a little bit, but you, you get the point. Some nice high-quality uh, manga scans in there. Uh, so I guess I just got to hit a button then, since it's just going to... Oh, okay, so the translation did work. Perfect. Awesome. Barely. So we can play the, the, Yeah, the title the, the title is a little fun. weird. It's uh B Flurbader Jamaros. It's whatever, I don't give a shit. As long as it's playing. Jamaro's Joe. Joe Yabuki versus S Inagami. Oh, oh okay. We're playing in Glitch World. There there we go. Alright. Sorry, I thought Uncle Howdy was coming back for a minute there. <laughs> Which one is you? I had the one on the left. Oh, the one on the left. Uncle Howdy? Oh, oh Uncle Howdy's back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's glitching out the timer, too. I, it, it, it doesn't really matter to me as long as it's playable enough. I'm just going to attribute the glitching to the translated <laughs> ROM. It's just World boxing. Star. Oh, my God. You said a hole. You knocked him outside of the. Uh, I don't know where you're at. Now. I've knocked him oh. in. I've not. I've been knocked outside of reality. <laughs> yeah, this is. Yeah, this is tough. This might have to go. This might. This might get a photosensitivity warning on it. This episode. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to battling robots. I gotta keep him over here in order to stay away from the glitching. Oh! Oh, oh my, my God! God. <laughs> <laughs> I bounced his ass to the nether dimension. <laughs> Not many people know this, but this is actually Doctor Strange uh, boxing right now. <laughs> Clearly. And this is the mirror world. Yeah. <laughs> this is the mirror dimension, and uh, yeah. They're punching so hard, they're glitching out to the dimension. Yeah, no shit. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, now get oh, up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! No. Now take, now, now, now take advantage of it. No, don't. What? <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Billy, why did you say something so controversial? Why would you? Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? <laughs> this is, this is messing with my equilibrium. Okay, just don't, don't yeah, look, but... don't, don't look at it, Dan. Mm. Don't look at it. Yeah, don't look. Don't look at it. I mean, you've basically at least seen. There's some good shit. I gotta say, you've basically seen all there is to offer with this game. And there's not yeah. much to offer. It's just punch, kick, punch. It's all in the mind. Yeah. 
Uh, that's why. That's why I was trying to keep. That's why I'm trying to keep everything over here, so it doesn't glitch out. <laughs> yeah, fall, bitch. All right, that's enough of this game because this is just what it's going to be over I mean, and over and over again. I mean, we can stop now, but the episode is going to be only be 40 minutes long. <laughs> or we can play another game. We could fit a fourth game in just for that. Yeah, you know what? Why Fuck not? it. Why not? Thoughts on Ashida Nojo? Uh, well, 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 this one won't be in the title of the episode. We'll just it's a, it'll be a bonus since it's so glitchy. Thoughts on Ashida Nojo, Dane? And you, I can barely watch it because of the glitching. But yeah. Oh God, no! Thing. Stop! Stop! Pause. Thank you. All right. Okay, disregard the glitches and just talk about the the worry about the let's let's talk about the gameplay. What do you think of that? Uh, generic boxing game. I really wasn't that impressed. That's fair. Jason. I wonder if this is where World Star Hip Hop got their name from. Could be. But but honestly, I mean like yeah, I'd rather just be watching the anime. <laughs> That's fair. Billy same. I'd rather be watching the anime. I mean, it's it's just your atypical boxing game. I mean, it's I nothing mean, special. Yeah, I, I feel like this is just... It, it, so many other fa fighting games on SNES did it better. Like, to play any Mortal Kombat game, play any Street Fighter game that came out on the SNES. They're, they're really all kind of better than this. And fucking even, f like, the Fatal Fury games, which one of which is on the wheel, like, they're better than this. This is just standard boxing with a anime related smoke screen to cover it up. You know, it's just if this yeah. didn't have the branding it wouldn't be shit. Basically. Scores out of ten, Dane. Three Jason. Uh two. Uh Billy. I'll give it a three. I'm gonna give it a two and we're gonna go ahead and spin once more and fit a fourth game in this episode. Unprecedented like I said, Ashida Nojo will not be in the title of the episode. That'll just be a bonus for everybody. Ah, interesting. Okay. Let us see how this will... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Victor Kai. Oh, no. Three years from now. <laughs> Oh crap, this is gonna happen? No! Yeah, this happens in three years, guys. Well, we it. better start preparing now. I guess. Where are those ships? I want those ships. Oh, uh, is this gonna be a shmup that takes advantage of the Mode 7? I feel like it's gonna be like. Yeah. It takes a, that takes It's gonna be there. a shmup that takes advantage of the, of the hardware like uh, Star Soldier Vanishing Earth did. Although, okay, this is Star a, Soldier Vanishing Earth is a good game, just so to say. <laughs> uh, it looks like a giant robot. Could be. Looks like, oh, yeah, yeah. Looks like Voltron. Like uh... Voltron-esque. I, I was streaming a giant robot game just today. UFO Robot Grandizer! Imperium! Oh no! Here comes here comes <laughs> Gunter! Like here comes Gunter! <laughs> and Ludwig Kaiser! <laughs> and the other one, whatever his fucking name is. I uh, I hit options? Yeah, this is this is a vertical scrolling shooter. Hold on though, no. I hit options. Can I reset? Yeah, reset game. Yeah, I hit options, though. Oh! Okay. Yeah, very famous uh, composer worked on this one. Strawberry Boy, a.k.a. Tenpei Sato. Strawberry Boy. Strawberry uh, Poop. It's a composer and voice actor, most notable for the soundtracks on Nipponichi games, such as Disgaea and Phantom Brave. 
<laughs> this guy, uh, this fucking guy. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is just standard shmup. Uh, I mean, it's it's Sato sites looks pretty good though. Queen, Claude Debussy, Ryuichi Sakamoto. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, hold on. Reread. Can you reread the second name for me, please? Claude Debussy. <laughs> <laughs> and Kate Bush as musical influences. <laughs> I can see why a guy named Debussy used Bush as an influence. <laughs> you always finish on Debussy, never on the back. <laughs> no, 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 he does not have the ADD. He just like it to jump up and down. <laughs> yeah, he's done, he's done the music for all of the Disgaea games. Plus, Mugen Man. Souls, Prinny, Can I Really Be the Hero, Gunslinger Girl, Volume 1, 2, and 3, um, La Puchelle Tactics, Play It Pinball, Real Pool. Not fake that pool. fake pool shit, Real Pool. Yeah, no, you, you, you played that shit. You played that shit way back when. I did. That is true. Oh my god, that has been forever now, that was, it seems. That was on the PS2 roulette. Yeah, that we never got to finish because the list that I was basing everything off of chronologically disappeared off the internet. <laughs> Which is the reason why we didn't never came back to PS2 Roulette, by the way, everybody. It's because I would have to go go alphabetically rather than chronologically, and that would just be a pain in the ass. Because we've played a lot of those but, games already. Uh, the, the fascinating thing is that uh, that's not a high score counter. That's an experience point counter. Oh, I can fucking switch weapons? That's awesome. Ooh, yep, this... You get uh, weapons and power-ups through a set number of experience points. Oh. This game rocks. Uh, this is actually... Lie. This is good. I was ready to... I was ready to dismiss it as it's just a regular standard shmup, but... Yeah, but you're this... a mech. You're shooting everything. Yeah, this is actually pretty solid. Oh, I got another weapon. Let's try it. Oh! I love this, this is this is my second favorite genre of game is shmups. Well, you're probably probably enjoying the shit out of this then. Oh, I speaking, am. Speaking of which, I actually got a new Sega game that came in the mail today. Thunder Force Three. Nice. Ooh, good one. Yeah, Thunder Force series has always been pretty good. One of my favorite from, uh, shmup some great series. music in them. One of my favorite shmup series is yeah, and uh, the, the more you use the weapon, uh, the the more the weapon level up too. Uh, looks like ninety experience to the next level. Oh, oh, I see this. <laughs> Jesus, Billy. I'm sorry. Yeah, there we go. Level up. Eh, but it leveled up a weapon I wasn't using. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it won't level up the one that you're using. It'll level up a different weapon. Uh, let's yeah. go to... This, this one. What Let's go, hell? Sunshine Amigo. Let's go. Oh, it's a better shot. There we go. Level two, level two. This weapon now. I like that. How it. One of my favorite series of shmups is the 1942 series. You got 41, yeah. 43. Then you got 1943 Kai, which only came out in Japan. That that series got progressively better as they oh, yeah. moved away from the realism of the original game of the world war ii then they just started like well let's put lasers and stuff and it started becoming more of a a diesel punk esque game but, but of course uh it's still nothing compared to era fighters uh where you could play as a fucking dolphin in a fighter jet yeah no no that's that yeah or the polybius series not polybius uh Parodius. Yeah, Parodius. Yeah. Polybius is a game you could die from, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you want to play Polybius? Polybius is a game that does not exist. 
It Correct. Does it, it does not exist, quote unquote. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Uh, now time for Maki Ito's favorite drink. Liquid death. It's a kick in the aids. For a second, I thought you said it's the, it's a kick in the aids. Okay, it's a kick in the aids. <laughs> kick aids right out of here. That's right. That that's a surprisingly uplifting message from you coming from you, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> you have but remember. A, you have a good one every now and then. Kick aids right out. But guess what? You're the one that took it up the. No. <laughs> Wow. Well, you <laughs> ruined it. So much for that. You ruined it. What? You ruined it. Kick AIDS right out, but remember, you're the one that took the viral load. T you viral ruined load. it just like Britney Spears. Speaking of viral, uh, Billy, have you seen Viral Hit yet? No. It was okay. Uh, the animation was kind of meh. It's, uh,. I'm noticing a trend, though, with these stories based off of uh, webtoons from Korea. It's like, why is every single story about a dude who can't afford to live? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my, I, I only have one parent, and they are sick in 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 uh, in the hospital, and I am in so much poor, horrible debt, and and I I need to do things to survive. Oh God, everything sucks. Every Welcome day, to Korea, it is America, but worse. <laughs> every every day, I eat lukewarm rama ramen. Rama, rama. I yeah. rama rama ding dong. I Mac rama my ding dong. Give me the order. Give me the yeah. <laughs> Mac the knife. Mac the knife. Yeah. Give me the order. Yeah. Give me I, the uh, order. <laughs> yeah, I, I discovered a much better anime than that. Actually, uh, Windbreakers. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. It's, uh, all the fighting and delinquents, none of the convoluted bullshit of a Korean webtoon. <laughs> none of the dramatic, melodramatic deaths where they get shot and they're like, looking like they're falling with an orgasm, you know? <laughs> well, I, I couldn't get into solo leveling either, and people were like, oh my god, solo leveling was going to be so good, and I'm like, no, it's not! It's not that good. It, it was well animated, but I wasn't really impressed. And then these are the same I, people. That, I, I watched are, a ton of freaking shows. These are also, <laughs> but those are the same people that go, oh, why are you watching My Hero Academia? That's a normie anime. I'm like, oh, listen. Hey, I'm actually watching that this season. I like uh, that show. I like how I, I like how popular. Billy said Billy said listen, and then seconds later we hear a kid go. That yeah, was my nephew <laughs> in the background. My nephew. Uh, so killer over monsters. Here right now. So, <laughs> is he being murdered? Yeah, there's there's, <laughs> there's, there's uh, some good. Four, uh, so he's, that doesn't mean anything. You can still be murdered at four. <laughs> Just That's ask uh, John Brene Ramsey. <laughs> God <sighs> damn it. <laughs> Kill, killed by her brother. Yep, buried by her and parents. Her anyway, thoughts on Imperium Dane? This was pretty fucking cool. And most shmups that Mike has played have been awesome, and this one's no different. Jason. Yeah, no, this is this is pretty damn sweet with the uh, the whole level up system and everything. Like, this is a rather unique shmup. So I kind of wish that there had been more than just one game in this franchise. Billy. Giant robots, a shmup shooting down aliens. I I'm all for it, my dude. Yeah, this is a pretty solid shooting game, uh, all things considered. Uh, it's smooth controls. It's, the level-up system is really unique. Uh, I, I really like that idea. It's just fun to play. Scores out of 10, Dane. Dane. Jason. Compared to everything else tonight, 10. <laughs> Billy. 
10. Yeah, you know what? I'm also going to give it a 10. Solid 10 across the board for this one. On yeah. this edition of the show, we played King Arthur's World, Race Drive-In, Ashida no Joe, and Imperium. Best game of the episode, Dane. Imperium. Jason. <laughs> Imperium. <laughs> Billy. Imperium. Yeah. Imperium is the winner. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Joan, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Good night, everybody. And by, and by Backseat Gamer, I, of course, mean uh, Retro Roulette.